the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I love the word of God. You would notice I'm using a very old note. Um, you won't believe what is this note. I'm using the exact note that I used when the Lord was teaching me this. You can see it. I don't want to tell you how old this note is, but it's very old. I didn't even trans transfer it to any new, exactly the way it is. The Bible says, right, for these words are faithful and true. And so this morning we'll for those who could not make it uh, yesterday, please do well to get the materials so that you can pay attention and learn. It's important that we invest in the word. It gives us wisdom. Praise the Lord. We started discussing a few things yesterday. God's idea of prosperity. We said how that to prosper meant to do well. And that there are five levels of prosperity. We stated a few foundational things that we needed to understand about wealth. That number one, all wealth and all blessings whatsoever, it comes from God. It belongs to God. And then it comes through men. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, then we did say that there are laws that govern wealth and abundance. They are called kingdom laws. We separated them into spiritual laws and physical or natural laws and i did say yesterday that the spiritual laws are responsible for the arrival of financial resources and the security the security of those resources while the physical laws are responsible for the management and the multiplication and preservation of the wealth we did say that there are three main reasons why God blesses us in this kingdom. Please don't forget, number one is to enable us to live comfortable lives. It is God's desire for us to live comfortably. Number two, to have the means to advance the kingdom. And then number three, to reveal the love of Jesus to a dying world in a practical and a definite way. Praise the name of the Lord. We started discussing the spiritual laws, the first of them being the law of absolute surrender, complete surrender. Please do not forget. Uh, most times when we talk about wealth, um, we just jump into other aspects, but the heart condition is very important. The law of absolute surrender. My son, it says, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we'll take it further in this morning service. The second law, which we know to be a foundational spiritual law, is called the law of tithing. Now, I'm, I'm not here to bring all kinds of debates and all kinds of... I believe that um, this is an enlightened congregation alongside those following and that we have an understanding of the principles of the kingdom. Leviticus 27 and verse 30, the law of the tithe, the law of tithing. Leviticus 27 and verse 30. It says, and all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's, and it is holy unto God. I think this is clear enough, that the tithe, whether of your seed or of the land, it belongs to to the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Popular scripture that has also become a controversial one. Malachi chapter 3 when you read from verse 8 to 12. 
The Bible there talks about people robbing God in tithes and offerings, it says. And then from verse 10, it says, Bring ye all the tithe into my house, that there may be meat in my house. And then the Bible lists seven prophetic blessings that follow the titus. Number one, it says, I will open you the windows of heaven. That's a very interesting statement. You need to study what happened the last time the windows of heaven was opened. I will open you the windows of heaven. Remember the foolish man when there was famine in Samaria. He was arguing about the windows of heaven. If God would open the windows of heaven, is it true that Samaria would be transformed overnight? Hallelujah. And he said, you will see it, but you will not partake of it. I will open you the windows of heaven, number one. Number two, I will pour a blessing that you will not have room enough to contain it. Number three, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. Number four, he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Five, neither shall your vine cut his young before its time. Then number, th number six, the Bible says, please give us verse uh, 12. It says, all nations shall call you it's one thing to believe you are blessed but it's another thing for nations to call you blessed hallelujah and then seven it says you shall become a delightsome land beulah and hephzibah the delight of nations seven prophetic blessings that follow titus let me tell you this the law of the tithe is not about money at all is the law of open heavens you have to understand this. The reason why people argue a lot about tithe is number one, because that circumcision has not yet happened. And number two, um, we think it's all about money. Tithe is first an attitude, much more than just money. It's a state of understanding. It's a state of consciousness. Hallelujah. The law of open heavens. It is a very powerful spiritual law that has been observed and respected by both Christians and even people who practice wizardry, sorcery, among their mentorship sessions, they have learned that if you ignore this one principle, you can live perpetually under a closed heaven. We have to hurry up the law of the tithe. Very, very powerful kingdom law and the tithe is also a system of insurance you have to understand this it is true god did not build a faulty system he did not build a faulty kingdom it's one thing to have blessings to have resources but it's another thing to have them secured the technology that secures what we have in this kingdom is honoring the lord with our tithe hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to know, in truth, you don't give tithe. Mm -mm. It's a command. Tithing is not proof that you love God. It's proof that you are obedient. Are we together now? Yes. Because you are given an exact instruction. When you give, you give from your heart. Every man according as he has purposed in his heart, the Bible says, so let him give. But tithe, you don't just choose, oh, I think I need to give 1%. No, 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 no. The benchmark had already been given. Even if God tells you to give 90%, it's not a doctrine for everybody. It's a personalized dealing between you and God. Are we together now? The tithe is very important. If you cannot trust God with 10% of your resources, uh, you know, I sat back there and I listened to what you shared, Pastor, just on the screen. Such a powerful revelation that the way to win with god and even to win with men is to lose with him jacob thought he lost but god said you fought with me and you won what a revelation very powerful if you cannot trust god there's no time i would have shown you the revelation of tithing and that that was what was used to defeat jericho when when joshua came with all of the people they did not know how to receive the strategy to defeat jericho and they couldn't be assisted he was wondering why and god said there is a circumcision that has not been done in your camp that's why i cannot come 
it says now circumcise all the males the moment that circumcision happened suddenly an angel came come and receive the blueprint to conquer jericho there is a partnership with heaven that happens at the instance of tithing if you do it out of a ritual you see in this kingdom our activities only produce when they are sponsored by an understanding it's more than the activity most people just drag the tithe and then they come as though they want to bribe god the bible talks about this strange entity called melchizedek called him the king of an ancient city of peace called salem no beginning no end no father no mother what a man and the priesthood of jesus is in the order of that melchizedek now listen very carefully the bible says that when abraham came from um rescuing lot he met melchizedek and then the bible says he presented unto him a tenth of all that was obtained from the war are we together that was a representation of his diligence his commitment his hard work his creativity he brought a tenth of it to melchizedek and then in return melchizedek, melchizedek blessed abraham and here's what he said blessed be abraham son of the most high he called him the possessor of the heavens and the earth a man cannot bless a man that way so the bible says watch this it says that when we come to our high priest who is in the order of melchizedek that there is a high priestly function the only high priestly function we see melchizedek doing is receiving tight and speaking over receiving tight and speaking over so when we come to him with our tithe that priesthood he receives it it is true that you drop it in a bowl here in church but in the realm of the spirit and in heaven the bible says a transaction is happening your melchizedek jesus himself will make those declarations in the similitude of what melchizedek did to abraham blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth are we blessed the next law very quickly next spiritual law now it's called the law of seed time and harvest you may call it the law of giving the law of seed time and harvest Galatians, um, genesis chapter 8 and verse 22 very quickly genesis 8 22 noah after the flood the bible says that he reared an altar and sacrificed of the animals and it rose as a sweet smelling savor and it caused god to make a proclamation upon the earth he says while the earth remains seed time and harvest and if you ever doubt whether seed time and harvest remains i attach other realities so you can compare cold and heat summer and winter day and night shall not cease the Bible says, for as long as the earth remains, the kingdom will operate on a seed time and harvest basis. Very, very important. That means it is fraud to expect harvest from a seed you did not sow. Are we together now? That this kingdom operates on the basis of seed time and harvest. This is not about money. That everything you really receive is a harvest. So if you want it, the seed for friendship is friendship. He that wants friends, the Bible says, must first show himself friendly. If you do not sow that seed, you cannot have a harvest of friendship. Are we together now? Honor is the harvest or the seed that you sow for access. A question is the seed for an answer. There shouldn't be an answer when there is no question. Are we together now? yes prayer and fasting among other seeds are the seeds that you sow for genuine spiritual power knowledge is the seed for transformation so the bible says that the earth when you watch people don't just be captured by their harvests look for the seeds that they sowed sow the same seed and the bible guarantees that as far as the earth remains there can be a harvest there will be a harvest hallelujah now under the law of giving 
or seed time and harvest we also have a scripture one more scripture quickly to look at luke chapter 6 please and verse 38 jesus again is speaking and he said give give and it shall be given i love jesus he's teaching us now he never said give money he just said give and it shall be given unto you anything at all give wickedness it shall be given unto you give jealousy it shall be given unto you give love it shall be given unto you give mercy it shall be given unto you are we together yes give money it shall be given unto you then the bible tells us that what is given unto you will always be greater than what you gave good measure it says press down shaken together running over now he tells you who will give you shall men give that means your prosperity and your blessings comes from god but is currently in the hands of men so don't think it's strange when god begins to bless you you know most times when we say god bless us we are hoping that some superstitious things happen men are the conveyors the blessing will come through men shall men give unto your bosom then it says with the same measure you meet or you give that is the same measure that will be given to you don't say the size of your seat doesn't matter it does matter agriculture teaches us that the size of your seed matters and the quality of your seed matters are we together praise the name of the lord now there are there are several i'm not sure that we we'll have the time to deal with them but there are several kinds of givings under the law of giving, the law of seed time and harvest. We are still di discussing the spiritual laws. Let me list a few of them and then I'll just pick out three of them that are responsible for transiting us to realms of abundance. All of them do not carry the same blessing. Number one, what we call a, a worship offering. A worship offering according to Deuteronomy 16.16 16, to not come into the house of God empty worship offering it is mandated according to scripture that every time we appear before the lord we come with a worship offering then we have the first fruits then we have our vow then we have what we have come to know from scripture and in the church as prophet's offering it's been abused but it's still very valid and very true let me just give you two scriptures for reference. Second Kings chapter 8 from verse 8 and 9. And then 1 Samuel 9 from verse 3 to 13. I apologize, we may not be able to read them. Second Kings chapter 8 from verse 8 and 9. And then 1 Samuel chapter 9 from verse 3 to 13. Remember one time when Saul lost um, the donkey of his father? and they were about to search for that donkey they wanted to meet this seer called samuel the prophet and their challenge was that they did not have anything to go and give him and one of them said i think i have a few things let's go and meet him it was a culture in those days that you did not appear before a prophet of god without um without an offering to honor him then we have kingdom investments all kinds of givings for building of the lord's house and for the advancement of the kingdom this and many more there are so many more under these givings we also have given to the poor and needy giving to the poor and needy giving to parents both spiritual and physical parents honor your father and your mother the bible says that your days may be long and that it shall be well with you you don't want to live long in a very horrifying uh, manner so you also want to live long and that it shall be well with you hallelujah now of all these let me pick three i'm not picking three because they are necessarily the most important but i wish we had time i would show you that every one of these um giving platforms have specific spiritual blessings attached to them are we together now yes what the worship offering will give you is not what a prophet's offering will give you it's not what uh, giving to parents will give you it's not what giving to the poor will give you they all have their allocations 
but then i have learned from scripture from the life of people with proven results and in my own experience that there are three as far as the journey to stepping into the wealthy place is concerned there are three of these given platforms you must take very seriously number one oh i didn't mention seed faith you can add to it seed faith is one of the prophetic platforms for giving activating the law of seed time and harvest i don't know how many i've listed but just have that down so three of them that you should pay attention to number one kingdom investments if you truly intend to rise financially these are some of the prophetic platforms under the law of giving the law of seed time and harvest kingdom investments finding a need in the house of god whether generally announced or as far as your passion can reveal to you and being part of kingdom come in a very active way is one way i know that you can command the attention of god to bless to lift to multiply you kingdom investment is a real investment if they ask you what are your investments don't just say real estate this and that you can say kingdom investments and any wise person should not laugh at you because kingdom investment is a real investment the bible says to lay up treasures for yourself in heaven where there are no thieves where all of these kinds of things don't happen kingdom investments is a real investment you must find a need in a church like this as a believer you know pastor like i observed yesterday it believers should not have to wait until there is a special announcement oh we need to buy this we need to buy this it is part of the spiritual training process of believers are we together we don't only have rights in the kingdom we have responsibilities there is no authority without responsibility and so whilst you sit in church you must always look out for a need Oh, in the name of Jesus, for this year, 2021, I will ensure that the welfare of pastor, I will foot the bills. That is, you are looking for it by yourself and you insist. Oh, we already have someone. No, no, no. By the grace of God, my seed must also speak. It is powerful. This is not donation. This is a spiritual transaction with understanding. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And then number two, the second, I'm discussing three of them, remember? Prophet's offering. Now, oh dear. Let me tell you this. Please look up. Prophet's offering is a very powerful spiritual mystery. I know that it has been abused. I, 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 I admit that here and there, there have been imbalances. People have been taken advantage of by women of God, respectfully speaking. But then, just because a spiritual law has been abused does not mean that there is no place for it in the dealings of God. There are limits to which any man can rise until you connect to certain graces with understanding. Praise the name of the Lord. The law is that every man gives according to his riches in glory. Praise the name of the Lord. And so you are lifted by that anointing when you connect to a prophet of god your pastor your leaders with understanding what you are doing is that you are among other things taking advantage of the grace and the covenants that they have with god there are three basic platforms that we receive in, in this kingdom one is encounters directly from god number two is by observing principles there is a dimension of god's power that is invested in principles you don't have to believe in god for that to work just engage the principles and it will work and then number three by your alignment to men and the covenants they have with god there are times that it's not your personal covenant like we enjoy the covenants today that abraham had with god are we together now galatians chapter um three i believe verse 29 and if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, the Bible says, and heirs according to the promise. Amen. So, 
when god calls men and anoints them many times he has a personal covenant with them not old testament not new testament covenants that define the terms of his dealings with them and you can through understanding tap into those covenants using the prophet's offering it is a powerful revelation very powerful revelation if you ask your pastor he will tell you that there were moments in his life and i believe it's still a process that is ongoing where he's had to connect with higher graces sacrificially connecting with major men and women prophets of god and they swore blessings upon him that shifted the atmosphere financially for him this is a law that would not fail praise the name of the lord and then lastly the principle of seed faith again this is one that has been abused but the principle of seed faith is based on two mysteries in the kingdom one is the mystery of resurrection and then the second is by a mystery that god is able to give a man seed another body the principle of seed faith um, is not so much about money is using the principle of resurrection and transformation to change circumstances in your life the bible lets us know that there is a unique mystery that surrounds the seed number one that when a seed dies it is able to come back to life again that means anything i i want to kill i can tie to a seed and kill it with that seed I can tie on favorable seasons. I can tie moments of disfavor in my seed. If that seed really dies, that season will die with it too. Are you getting what I'm saying? You can shift things in your life. Failure and all kinds of things are happening around your life. Disfavor. You can package that disfavor and tie it with a seed so that you kill that season because it dies in partnership you have connected that season with that seed as that seed dies that season also dies don't sit and watch unfavorable seasons happen in your life and you just watch no once upon a time the people of god were fighting a particular nation and it was clear that defeat was imminent the king carried his own son and slew his son and the bible says an indignation rose to heaven end of the war you can use the principle of seed faith to kill seasons, to birth new seasons. That means I can sow shame and not reap shame. God is able to do something to my seed before resurrection. Kali Parasko Piata. I can sow shame and reap honor. This is powerful. The principle of seed faith is not just that you reap more of what you want. You can also, a transformation can literally happen. So you can sow in tears and not reap more tears. You can reap in joy. You didn't sow joy. You sowed in tears. But God is able to give your seed another body. Please believe what I'm telling you and shake yourself out of negative seasons. I can array the seasons in my life. Why is this door refusing to open? I take the closed door and tie it to a seat. And as that's why you've heard me say it. It is dangerous to steal money in church because you don't know what season someone is killing. You are just seeing an offering, but you don't know that someone has tied all the courses, all the yokes, and brought it to the altar. You didn't allow the seed die. That means the season is still alive. Ask Gehazi. Just because Naaman was healed did not mean the leprosy disappeared out of earth. He just left the man. But while naaman was stealing he did not know he was inviting that thing to come back i tell you why many people carry casualties in church oh it's just 10 naira it's more than 10 naira that person tied poverty transgenerational poverty to that 10 naira 
and you just felt let me quietly help myself god says no you didn't allow the seed die the season is very alive you carried it on your head number two when they give you a seed and say give your pastor and you say what it doesn't matter let me keep it you see there is a grace god has given him that can help fight certain battles the person transferred his battles to a seed to a higher grace that can help him fight it my level of spiritual enlightenment the level of the covenant that i have with god may not be able to fight this level of warfare and so i use a seed i carry that trouble and i transfer it to this grace and you who was midwifing the seed you would have quietly just allowed it land there you received it and the realm of the spirit respects that okay that means you are ready to fight the battle and you go back home and things begin to change these are spiritual laws you came to church this morning i was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the lord are we together these three giving platforms work wonders kingdom investments finding a need in the house of god and fulfilling it with excellence number two respecting the prophet that god has sent over your life and has placed over you you see him just as my man of god who is intelligent after all people say he's already a rich man that is the deception of the devil A higher grace in the spirit can bring you into that realm it's like it's like initiation you you only receive from people who have already obtained the bible says follow them who have obtained not those who are obtaining hallelujah when you sow into a higher anointing it brings you he brings you into his realm of reality Notice I didn't mention giving to the poor. Giving to the poor is important. But it's not responsible for your rising. Jesus said the poor you always have with you. Believe me, you want to rise, just leave the poor. Give them generally as a very kind believer. But I mean you are connecting seeds for your rising. You better find someone who is prosperous first. Connect to that seed. When you rise... You go and meet people who meet witches and wizards and all of those kinds of people. They will tell you, you better go and find a rich man first and give to him. You now see why God, when you give to God, you know what you are doing. He will keep lifting you even to his realm of reality. Because everybody gives according to his riches in glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Spiritual laws. Now, these three principal laws broken into subunits the law of absolute surrender the law of tithing the law of seed time and harvest they constitute the spiritual laws of wealth and abundance are we together now so when you're talking about the spiritual laws of wealth and abundance you're talking about the law of absolute surrender everything your heart belonging to the lord number two tithe that opens your heavens secures your blessings number three your giving channels that begins to make that spiritual transaction right quickly what are the return channels when you fulfill this spiritual law something begins to happen in your life three of them one is called favor favor the first return channel that proves to you that you are engaging the spiritual laws of wealth and abundance properly is favor. I can teach a whole week on favor. My life is a testimony of favor. I understand what the favor of God can do. The favor of God is the cure for emptiness. Exodus 3, 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, the Bible says. When Egyptians favor you, you are really favored. And it shall come to pass, this is the proof that you have favor, that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, the B part. Virgins were gathered together, the king was looking for a wife. 
and they brought a village girl called Hadassah to try her luck. But when she came, she was not like all the city girls. One man who was the keeper of the king's virgins called Haggai, he said, come, let me teach you something. I know this king. I've worked with him for a long time. Forget about all these practice of catwalking they're doing. Come, let me teach you something. There are two oils I'm going to give you. Keep rubbing it on your body for one year. Just do what I'm asking you to do. The Bible says, and Esther, the bee part, obtained favor. Let me tell you how favor works. Number one, favor does not work only once. That's breakthrough. It has to be consistent for it to be favor. Number two, favor works with the power of sight. That means when the favor of God is upon you, everybody who makes connection with you and actually sees you, they are compelled to support you. The proof of favor, you may have heard me say, is not just money, it's loyalty to the hearts of men. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many? All them that looked upon her, including those who didn't like her. Not just, the, even if you didn't like Esther, the moment you saw her, it, it, it's a charm-like reality on her. You were compelled. You came under the influence of what she was carrying. When this comes on you, you walk around the street of this city and you will think you are holding a charm. Believe what I'm telling you. Verse 17. May this be someone's testimony. Not, not even the king could resist this, this spell-like operation of favor. And the king loved Esther above. That means before she came, there were other women he was considering. But as soon as Esther showed up, the king loved Esther above all the women. And she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. The Bible says so that he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. First return channels for obeying the spiritual laws. Favor. Favor. Men willing to stand by you and support whatever it is that you are that you are part of favor is real you can earn a living through favor number two wisdom the second return channel is wisdom wisdom is the principal thing the bible says therefore get wisdom exalt her she shall promote you she will put a crown of glory upon your head when thou dost embrace her it says doth not wisdom cry Wisdom is powerful. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. He says, with me are riches, wealth, and honor. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. Wisdom. Divine direction is a dimension of wisdom because wisdom is dimensional. Divine strategies is a dimension of wisdom. The capacity to know what to do illumination by the spirit are you blessed yes and jesus himself knew what to do this is by the holy ghost you know what to do you know what not to do the voice of god coming to you thou shall hear a voice from behind saying this is the way walk in it hallelujah and then the third return channel is the activation of the blessing on your life the blessing hmm. activated on your life do you know what the blessing is we're going to pray if i were you i would not miss the next service so just go out and come back in again and sit down quietly in the name of jesus christ think of your children while you are um, this is a, a an honest request from a loving heart just sit down sincerely and get this meal because the second service what i'm about to explain to you um i think that it is life altering please listen the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the spirit that was given to man is a force that compels creation listen carefully it compels creation to hearken to you 
and it compels is a force of attraction are we together now it has an assignment to compel creation to listen to you and to partner with you is called the blessing not cars not houses it's a dimension of the operation of the spirit in fact the holy spirit is what we call the blessing just because his operation was released by speaking the blessing is more than words it's not a pronunciation no it's an engracing of the spirit that rests upon an individual you become creation has never been disobedient when you carry blessing all those who carried it when they stepped into an environment creation said this is what we're waiting for there is a sound there is something that comes out of certain people you enter a city and every good thing like a magnet starts looking for you someone was supposed to travel out of the city but because you are entering you brought an atmosphere that forces that person to stay back because there is something you need and he has the power to provide men are not just these physical beings you are seeing you will be surrounded by a mystery of coincidences that keep repeating themselves they look like mistakes only that they always keep happening why is it that the moment you have a church you are looking for a keyboardist five of them come just when god is promoting the five the other five come again from somewhere where did they come from the blessing quarter to shame and, and tragedy someone will lose sleep and stand up just for your sake that was what the lion saw. It was not just the presence of the angels. Daniel entered the den with something. And the lions felt like they were in the garden of Eden again. There was no need to fight. When he came out, the lions showed that they were always hungry. So it was not just that maybe they were filled. and No, 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 no. They were very hungry. But they brought in an atmosphere. So this is a blessing. You can enter a harsh office. And everybody just keeps quiet. As though they are under a spell. I thought you people were just talking about this person now and said by tomorrow we are going to drive him what suddenly changed believers what is on your head is a mysterious spiritual substance the blessing it is activated as you doing business without these things you're only wasting your time believe me you see why i said wait with all the issue of business and job investment just leave all those ones they only find their credence when these forces are in place i step into every city as though the city owes me because there is something carry a magnet watch this carry a magnet we have two minutes put nails scatter them all around you don't need to call the nails one by one. What sort of a, a labor is that? You just carry the magnet. Keep moving it around. Suddenly, the things that look like they are dead, they are only dead in the absence of that magnet. Business people call it the law of attraction. Mm -mm. It's more than the law of attraction. They explain it. In physics, this is what Sir Isaac Newton was trying to unravel. He noticed that bodies in the universe were showing, they, they were showing the, the, the quality of magnets and living things. That under a certain condition, what was immobile can move to you. We have to pray. Please rise up on your feet. This is only the spiritual law. These things I teach you are true. This is what gives you confidence in this city. How do I know my 2021 will be blessed? Not just because you have a job. Not just because you have a business. You can lose it overnight. The presence of the favor of God at work in your life. The presence of the wisdom of God at work in your life. The blessing activated in your life. Is what gives you certainty and confidence if God sends you to Kano you go with confidence if he sends you to US you go with confidence if he tells you stay in Abuja anywhere at all it is not the location thou anointest my head not my cup 
my head the proof of what is on my head is in what i see on my cup if my cup is empty the problem is not the cup it is what is on my head lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray it's a new season for me it's a new season for me someone is praying in the name of jesus i obtain grace obtain grace from the lord in this first service obtain grace grace to surrender everything grace to be a faithful consistent tighter with understanding grace to be a giver kingdom advancement your prophet's offering seed faith killing and birthing seasons supernaturally through the power of seeds pray for favor in the name of jesus i am favored supernaturally i obtain favor as a return channel i obtain wisdom in the name of dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline